Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm going to take three fingers from the bottom on the left and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a wavy wavy line from left to right. Then I'm going to take two fingers from the top on the left and I'm going to put a dot and two fingers from the top on the right and put a dot. Okay, now we're going to take this slow because there's a lot of straight lines. I go back to my first dot and I draw a straight line down, come back to the dot, draw a little straight line over, and another straight line down. I take one finger and I put a dot. And from that dot I draw a straight line down, Come back to the dot, little straight line over, straight line down, connect. Now I come over to the right hand side, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. From the dot I'm going to draw a straight line down, come back to the dot, little straight line over, straight line down, connect, one finger, put a dot, straight line down, Come back to the dot, little straight line over, straight line down, connect. Okay, I come back to my first set and I'm going to draw straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down. I'm going to put one, two straight lines. Come up a little bit, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down, at the top one, two straight lines. I come up and I draw a curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, and leave that alone. Okay? Come over to the right hand side, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down, one, two straight lines. Come up, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down, at the top, one, two straight lines. Come up a little bit, curve line, straight line, come up a little bit, curve line, straight line. Okay. Now I come back over to the left, you see me hesitating because I'm looking at my drawing and I'm going to extend this one, two straight lines, extend one, two straight lines. Come over to the right, we're going to do it over here too. One, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. Okay. Now I come all the way down to my first little X's over here and I'm going to extend the little straight lines, extend the little straight line again. Jump over, now come to this edge, one, two straight lines to the edge, jump over, now do one, two straight lines to the edge. Okay, all right. Now I come back up here to the left, I'm going to even these out because they're a little messy, so I'm going to even them out and I'm going to draw straight line connect. See how this one's a little bit hanging over? Just go ahead, draw a little straight line up, over, connect. Come over here to the right, we're going to do the same thing. Straight line across, these connected better. Straight line up, skinny rectangle over, connect. Okay. If you've gotten this far, you're doing really good, okay, because there's a lot of straight lines. Pause the video if you need to take a little bit more time. Alright, now the next step can be confusing, so you have to do it slow. This is going to be step number one, 
So I start right here at this corner and I draw a curved line down and off the page. I come to this corner up here and I'm going to draw another curved line down off the page. Don't flip out if you draw through your drawing. You're going to draw through your drawing on this one. Now I come back to the first corner and I draw a big curved line up over to this side. Now I come to this corner and I draw another big curved line up over to this side. So they're like loopy looping back and forth. Now on this corner I draw a curved line off the page and now on this corner I draw another curved line off the page. Okay, it's all going to be loop, 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 loop. Kind of confusing, but look at what it's holding up. It's a, a, it's a bridge, man-made. Now I start over here on the left and I'm going to draw straight lines all the way across the whole entire thing because this kind of reminds me of the rigging on a big schooner sailboat there's all these lines and this and that and it's like you got to draw all of them straight lines there straight line through here jump over straight lines all the way across now you start here straight line straight line down keep going keep going straight lines all the way across now this is really supposed to be easier to draw than an organic shape like we did Yosemite Valley and Half Dome but there's so many crisscrossing lines it's hard to see that's why you have to go step by step and I'll surprise you when we get to the end of this about coloring so I take all these all the way down. One more, maybe. Okay. So this now is the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm not going to add any more lines because it already looks a little confusing. But this is the base. This is pretty... Oh, look. See, I forgot right here. These straight lines have to go all the way down through. These are the cables holding up, suspending the bridge. We don't have those that's going to fall down. Okay, now to make you know that it is an outside bridge, over here on the upper left corner I'm just going to draw a baby circle and pretend that's the sun. I never do this but I'm going to add some birds, curve line, curve line, because it is out over the the water. Down here at the bottom I'm going to add some more wavy lines and Right about here, I'm going to add a straight diagonal down, straight line over, straight diagonal down. Come back to the front, skinny rectangle, medium rectangle, curve line, curve line, curve line. So there's a boat. Now I'm going to fill this all in with some wavy lines. Now, one more part. Over here, so you know the bridge is being held up by something other than air. We're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, and then there's a base, diagonal, diagonal, diagonal line, and then cross it. This is also helping hold up the bridge on the left. And if you have room, which I don't have too much room, but I'm going to draw my diagonal lines again and then cross them for the right. Okay? Golden Gate Bridge. A lot going on there. Alright, let's talk about how we could color this in. Okay, the bridge is kind of a red-orange, so the only thing I would do is just trace some of these, like the big cables at the top, this section, and then I'd leave the rest alone. I mean, I would just do maybe these big cables so you do know it's the part that's holding up the bridge. So I guess what I'm saying is you should do the parts of the bridge. This is a big cable. Straight lines. 
but I wouldn't you I wouldn't color it in too much because then you lose it, it kind of looks like what so I would just do my cables just to give them a little bit of color and then I I'm thinking leave the rest of it black and white now you can make your own dis the uh you can make your own decision about that. This is just what I'm doing. But I think once you, I did color one in and it looked kind of crazy. So I think once you get it all drawn and you just use your red crayon on the main parts. See, I already forgot. On the main parts of the cables of the bridge, you might just want to leave it like that. It's up to you. Okay. This is what it looks like all done. Okay. Bye-bye.